Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome with us here in Paris and also welcome to the people watching us uh, live on YouTube if you couldn't make it here today with us. Uh, it's a real honor for me uh, to stand in front of you uh, to hold our actual first ever global keynote at Back Markets and also share with you that it's a special moment because it's been 10 years that we founded the company. So we thought that was a perfect timing to actually gather all of you guys to announce you hopefully some very exciting stuff and, uh, and share this moment together. So I'm missing my clicker right now, obviously. That's live. It's OK. Thank you so much. So first, I want to start with something I'm not very good at, which is to say thank you. Thank you uh, because we are here today because of many people, actually. And the first community of people that I want to thank is our customers. Our customers that have been trusting back market to buy their refurbished device or trade in their old tech devices instead of going to shop new. Thanks to those customers, we are here today. I also want to, I also want to thank the second community, which is our sellers, our refurbishers, because they have been refurbishing 10 years their product with us, and they are selling on a daily basis their product on the platform. They are working very hard every day to improve the quality level uh, of their operation and deliver a great experience to the customer who are choosing new, uh, refurbished over new. Then I want to thank my two co-founders, Q and Vinny, because thanks to them, I could create back market 10 years ago. Thank you, Q, for your technical genius. And thank you, Vianney, for your amazing creativity and creating this brand. Then I want to thank the amazing people working at Back Market every day. We're 700 backmakers today, working every day to improve the way people consume electronic devices and make them choose refurbished over a new. So thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your passion. And thank you for your hard work to make it a reality. Last but not least, I want to thank our investors. Our investors, since the beginning, the first one who joined in 2015 until the very last one, because without those funding, without this leap of faith, we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be in 18 uh, countries in three continents. So thank you, everyone, for trusting uh, in back market and trusting that we can build a circular economy that will actually really change the way we consume electronic products. So now, as I mentioned, we're 10 years old. So let me start by reflecting on those 10 years. What did we achieve? The first thing that we've achieved is 15 million customers. 15 million customers that trusted back market until today to choose to consume their electronic product. They choose to consume refurbished over new. So thank you for your trust, and see you again very soon. 1,800 refurbishers working every day on the platform, so that those professionals are actually chasing used goods. They are refurbishing them, repairing components, replacing battery, crack screens, components, making sure they work perfectly for the second time, the third time, the fourth time, in order to extend the life of those products and deliver a great experience to the end user. Thanks for your dedication. I know some of you are here, some of you are watching live, it's thanks to you that we can offer those products to the people and actually create the real alternative on accessibility to refurbished devices. 30 million is the number of orders we've made through back market since the beginning. And I like to say 30 million, it could be 100, it could be 10. Obviously, uh, it's hard to understand for our brain. But what's very interesting is to say, OK, 15 million unique customers, 30 million orders. It means that once people choose to purchase on back market, they come back. They make more than one purchase, and they actually choose for a longer period of time to refurbish over new. So let's grow that number um, a lot for the next coming years. Two and three hundred million euros. This is the amount of money we've given to people that actually opened their drawer took a picture and, and actually seen, OK, this is my old tech, this is my old smartphone, my old computer, my whole headset. I'm just going to do three clicks on back market, look at the price that they offer me, and ship it to the refurbisher. 
So 203 million is the amount of transaction and money we've given to citizens to actually open their drawer. So all of you here, obviously you don't have your drawer with you today, but my invite to you is to go back home or go back to the office, open your drawers. There is tons of money within it. So just three clicks, trade it in, then it will be refurbished, and then it will be accessible again for someone that actually needs it. And then last number, but not least, is 1.6 million tons of CO2 emission. This is the amount of CO2 emission that we've saved since the beginning of back market. It's the equivalent of 210,000 American people energy consumption every year. It's close to the size of my home city uh, in Nantes. So actually, that will power the energy of the whole city for a year. I think it's pretty cool. The next objective, obviously, is to power up New York, Paris, Shanghai, you name it. When you're 10 years old, you often, what you often get the question, like, what do you want to do when you grow up? Well, so we took some time to reflect on that. And the answer is we've never dreamed small. We always wanted to have the biggest impact. You never know how, how big it's going to be, but let's try to press forward 10 years ahead from now and travel in 2034. What do we want? I'm not talking about pro uh, progress. I'm talking about a revolution. And so, in 2034, 5 billion people, which is the size of the adult population, 90% of the adult population, will, will be purchasing, refurbished, and repairing its device. 5 billion people consuming refurbished over new would mean that hundreds of thousands of jobs will be created in the repair space, in the refurbishing space. People will be trained to actually repair their products, replace battery, replace screens, replace everything that's not working and that makes the whole device not working anymore. That would be common, that would be the norm. 5 billion people consuming refurbished over new would mean that the whole landscape of regulation within Europe, within uh, the US, but also within Asia will have changed. And it's actually started already. It means that manufacturer will be forced to actually sell their spare parts to anyone who wants to fix its device. Today, it's not the case. In Europe, starting in June 2025, it will be in the law and it will be forced. So you want to replace your battery, you want to replace your screen, then it's about to happen in a few months from now. You will be able to do that easily. And this is super critical. And then last but not least, if we manage to have 5 billion people choosing refurbished over new and repair their device instead of buying new all over again, the impact will be tremendous uh, on the planet. Today, as a species, as a human species, we emit 36 billion tons of CO2 emission. We need to get zero by 2050 if we want our kids, our grandkids, uh, relatives to survive and to have a happy life on Earth. Right? The production of new electronic products is creating 2 billion tons of CO2 emissions every year. So that's roughly 4%. So we need to take it down to zero. And if 5 billion people choose to repair and refurbish instead of buying new, then we will save close to 500 million CO2 emissions. Then we will avoid the consumption of 560 billion cubical, waters, uh, cubical meters of water. That's impossible to understand those numbers because they are so big for our brain. But it's more than what's needed for the entire population on Earth every year. So that's big. And you might be thinking, okay, what did Thibaut smoke this morning? Like, he's so high, you know, 90 people, like 5 billion people consuming refurbished or repairing instead of buying new. Well, this, this revolution already happened, and we have a living proof of it with the car industry. So if you take a look at this slide, on the left part, you have uh, 19, it's ni in 1994. On the left part is new cars. On the right side is used cars. So basically, nine people out of ten were purchasing new car. If I take the same picture today, well, it's exactly the opposite. 
Nine people out of them are purchasing a pre-owned car today. Only 10% resides in buying new cars. Why is that? It's because everything has been created and lined up. The, the availability to spare parts is for everyone. You, know, you are not forced anymore. Uh, to repair your car within the manufacturer you purchased in. It's widely open to everyone. You have an option to trade in your old car every time you go and buy a new one. You have the same level of service if something wrong happens with your car, then you can maintain it, you can replace the broken pieces over time. You have installment, pay installment payment, financing options, leasing options. Everything has been built and the result is that 90% of the people are purchasing pre-owned cars instead of new cars. So this is the journey we want to take, and this is where we want to take the electronic industry uh, with back market. So it's a global movement. It's not going to happen only with back market. It's going to take a village, and we will take manufacturers to play the game. We will need distribution to play the game. And we want to be a living proof, a source of inspiration for other industries. Like in 10 years from now, we will be saying, I hope, that car industry tra transition tick. Electronic industry transition tick. Then what about fashion? What about transport? What about energy? It needs to be inspiring for other, in other industry. So profitability, a very important topic that I also wanted to share with you today. Back market, for the first time, is going to be profitable in Europe in 2024. And this is a big milestone for us because when we created the company until very recently, and it's still the case in many industry, you have that, that label like, okay, this is an impact company. Impact means very good feeling, but the money is not there, you know? It's part of the, you know, the money you, you put to, to feel good, and that's it. At least I'm doing my thing. Well, it's not the case. It's actually printing money and it's making money. So it's a proof that we can have a business that drives impact, but also creates uh, money. And this is very important. So money is important, obviously, but it's exactly the same trajectory for, for the impact. So here it, you could see the GMV number or the revenue number of back markets over the past 10 years. This is actually the avoided CO2 emission number over the past 10 years, the avoided water consumption uh, impact over the past 10 years and the avoided e-waste impact of back markets across the past 10 years. So you have understood it. Our ambition is to make 2023 in 10 years the 2014 that you cannot even see uh, on the left part of the slide here. As I mentioned, it's not going to take only back markets, it's going to take a village. Until today, back market for the past 10 years has been developing uh, the circular economy for electronic products on its app, on its web platform only. Today, I'm very pleased to announce that we are opening the access to our value prop through uh, very important partnerships. So the first one I'm announcing today with you is the partnership we've, uh, we've signed and launched with Bouygues Telecom here in France. So two things that are very different uh, thanks to this partnership. I'm a consumer, I purchased a, a refurbished phone, I go on back market, and I can save up to 120 euros more right now when I'm paying my product if I choose a brick plan which is between 9.9 9 .9 euro per month or up to 19.99 euro per month. So it's very affordable plans to the one of the most powerful telco network in France, and we have the subsidy so the 120 euro subsidy on the refurbished product that you purchased on back market. Before this partnership, the subsidies only existed on new products. So you had French people working into stores, shopping on telco service online, choosing new products because they were feeling like, oh, it's not too expensive, but you have to pay 50 euro per month and you get a huge discount on the price tag of the product just to make you choose new, you know? and inflation is, not, is everywhere. So this mechanics is super important, and for me, it's a, it's a new pillar that is going to be a, a very helpful for people to access to refurbished tech. 
second journey that we've developed, and it's going to be launched in France in 15 stars in Paris in October. People are going to work into weak stars, being offered the same good plans that they already have access to. But instead of having the only option of buying new devices, they will have the options to purchase a back market device. And that's a huge milestone for us because until today, it's only 100% online transaction. And so by doing so, we will access to 50% more people that are actually going into stores and shopping offline. Trying to, conv to convince the friends of my mom to, sh to shop online is not easy. So we decided not to do that and to go where they actually go to offer them the access to refurbished devices thanks to this partnership with Bui. And guess what? Obviously, they will have access to a subsidy on the device within the store as well. Second partnerships we are announcing today is the partnership between Back Market and Visible by Verizon. So Verizon is the most established and powerful network in the US. It's 35% of the American population using Verizon every day to con for their connectivity. And we're very happy to announce this partnership with them today. It's the same ideas and the same uh, thinking that we had with Bouygues is to actually offer the best out of the two worlds for our, our consumers, our citizens, which is, I'm not choosing between new or a good connectivity. We're actually bringing most affordable devices and sustainable devices with back market, but also having the plans are visible with a subsidy on the plan in order to have some savings when you're actually purchasing the two. Before that, those kind of mechanism only existed in, uh, on new in the US. Today, with this partnership, it exists on refurbished tech. <laughs> today, I have the pleasure to have Jeremy Bolton with us today. So the managing director of Verizon who made the trip to be with us to actually talk about the partnership and actually share with you what it means for a telco like Visible by Verizon. So please welcome on stage Jeremy Bolton. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, everybody. I am delighted to be here. Uh, I am Jeremy Bolton, the Managing Director of Visible. Visible is the first all-digital wireless carrier in the United States, which means we don't have any stores, customer care is handled via chat, and everything is done through our app and online. And of course, as Thibault mentioned, we are backed by Verizon, one of the most powerful and reliable networks in the world. I have been at Visible since it was a mere concept in 2016 through to its launch in 2018. And as you can see, uh, I'm still with Visible. Um, but we built Visible um, on eSIM technology. This was important because it allowed us to create a truly forward-thinking brand that puts digital natives first. Digital natives tend to think in terms of apps. When they need a taxi, they go to an app. When they're ready to order food, they go to an app. eSIM allows Visible to occupy that same space in a way other carriers simply cannot certainly in the United States. That combined with simplicity are our key innovations. But we've also had a strong set of values that have kept us grounded since day one. And social impact has always been part of our mission. In fact, we had a social impact program before we technically had our brand name. So it's always been there. We believe that you can only be good in business by doing good. And this is why I am so excited for today's announcement. Our partnership with Back Market is rooted in bringing customers the high quality wireless they deserve in the way they want to access it. We know the digital generations of today and the future care about innovative technology solutions that make accessing wireless simple, affordable, and environmentally friendly. Our partnership with Back Market speaks precisely to this. 
Now we can offer conscious shoppers the opportunity to get an exclusive visible offer when they buy their awesome verified refurbished device from back market, making sustainable and affordable wireless service a realistic option for everyone. I just want to thank Thibaut and the entire back market team uh, for having me to Paris. It's always tough to come to Paris. Uh, and congratulations on 10 years. Here's to the next 10 and beyond. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jeremy, um, for being with us today and for this partnership. One last partnership we are very proud of announcing today is the partnership with Sony PlayStation and Back Market. So, I've been talking about circular economy for pretty much 20 minutes here. This is what we created. Back Market, this is what we want to take to the next level. When you talk about cr circular economy, then it comes access. Access to the product. And since pretty much 10 years, we have a lot of people coming on back market to try to purchase their PlayStation. Their PlayStation 3, their PlayStation 4, whatsoever for their kids. But we're always lacking supply. And so now, with this partnership with Sony by PlayStation, we are the only uh, partner to trade in every PlayStation within Sony's website, within the Sony PlayStation Store. So whenever people are purchasing in the US a PS5, well, they can get a discount if they trade in their PlayStation through back market. So we're actually gathering thousands of PlayStations every week in the US that are being refurbished then by our partners, refurbishers, and then being resold through back market. And now, guess what? We don't have any more out of stock on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and we can actually answer to the demand of people who don't want to necessarily buy new. They just want these PlayStations for their kids or for themselves. So I'm very happy to announce this partnership. We are going to take it to the next level. And for me, this is one of the first, but we really want to bring it everywhere where customers are actually shopping new. We want to get them where they are in order to get their old tech, in order to serve it to the people who want to access to refurbish them. This is how we will create and enable the acceleration of circular economy forward. So that was my last partnership announcement. And now moving to at least the most exciting part for me of this presentation, our product feature announcements. And who better than Amandine, our dear chief product officer, to take the mic and share it with you. Amandine, please welcome and stage. Hello, everyone. My name is Amandine Dur. I'm the Chief Product Officer at Backmarket. As the leader of the refurbished tech industry, our goal is simple. We want to build the experience that is answering the constantly evolving needs of our customers and of our sellers. Today, we're going to zoom in on the customers, and I'm going to show you some of the upcoming innovations we're building for them. Let's start with the number one concern for people buying refurbished tech. Will the device work? Is it going to last over time? And is it good value for money in the end? Quality has been back market's top priority ever since we were created. And our progress over the past 10 years has been phenomenal. We've worked very hard with the best refurbishers in the world to dramatically drop the defective rate of the products we sell on our platform. And we are very proud now to say that we have reached a level where we are at bar, we are competitive with the quality of brand new tech. So, as you see, we set very high standards. And now we want to be transparent about them, because we want to make it the industry's norm. And so that's why today we are announcing the launch of Verified Refurbished. Verified Refurbished, or our charte qualité, en bon français, is our newest quality standards that applies to every devices that we sell on back market. It's our quality label. And to announce Verified Refurbished, we wanted to make it super transparent for everyone and make it accessible for everyone, 
what, if, what exactly we're building behind that. And so we created a brand new space on our website, on our app, for you to understand everything we do to ensure the highest possible quality. So on Verified Refurbished, you get to learn all the checkpoints we ask our professional refurbishers to go through, all the processes we put in place, all the research we do with our innovation lab. But this is not all. Today, we are also launching Premium. Premium is a new category of products on back market. With Premium product, you get access to the highest quality possible when it comes to refurbished tech. No sign of use and only original parts provided by the manufacturers. So let's discover Verified Refurbished and Premium. These are our very high quality standards at back market. In this video, you just saw a lot of phones, but back market is way more than just phones. We have around 200 different categories of electronic devices available on our website and on our app. Laptop, audio, tablets, vacuum cleaners, kitchen appliances, you name it. There are over 500,000 different products available on back market. And when you think about it, the phone that is in your hand, for us, is just one piece of a bigger picture. The average American household has around 17 different connected devices at home. And as Thibault said, we're projecting in 10 years from now. And so in 10 years from now, we want at least 50% of those devices to be refurbished. In order to achieve this goal, we came up with a new feature that we are actively building right now that will be live early next year, and that is called AI device comparison. With this new feature, we want to make it easier for our customers to, de to discover a very large catalog and eventually find the right device for them. And here is how it's going to work and why AI is going to be useful in this case. First of all, we are not all hardware experts. What is the difference between a MacBook Pro and a MacBook Air? What should I buy for myself? Is it a Dyson V12 or a Roventa X-Force? And what should I buy for my kids? A PlayStation or another game, gaming console? These are questions that our customers are asking themselves every day. But on top of that, there are some specificities coming from the refurbished industry. If you think about it, our catalog is huge because we sell previous models, previous generations that are no longer available on the market of new. So our catalog is, keeps growing every year for good reasons. But this is also as much choice that our customers need to make. And they're asking questions like, is this previous model, is it going to last over time? What is the life expectancy? Is the battery good? And is it good value for money? Can I buy it now? So with all those questions, we can answer them easily thanks to our knowledge, thanks to our data, and thanks to the help of AI. So let me walk you through how AI device comparison works. So let's say you're looking for a MacBook. You're going to open our app, and you're going to hit Compare Devices. From there, you're going to select a few different models, let's say, a MacBook Pro and a MacBook Air, and you're going to hit Compare. You'll instantly get a summary of how the two models compare in terms of technical specificities. And this is powered by generative AI models. But that's not all. You'll also get access 
to some first insights about prices, because we have so much history, so much data, so we can actually advise you on, yes, this is the right moment, the price is very good right now. If you want to go deeper, we'll also make it accessible for everyone to be able to compare, not just based on technical specificities, but based on our own knowledge of how refurbished work. So for instance, you can know what is the life expectancy of the two models you're comparing with. And this is very important, again, because remember, we have 500,000 different products available. So with this feature, we feel that we can make it easier for customers to narrow it down and eventually find the right model for themselves. So this is AI device comparison, and it's coming in 2025. OK, I have something to share. I dropped my phone. This is my phone. I dropped it a while ago. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's actually all cracked everywhere. And I swear I didn't break it on purpose five minutes ago, OK? It's been like that for a while. I'm not uh, very proud of it, but you know what? It works. So I'm being lazy. I keep it like that. Also, like the batteries are charging pretty fast. I'm sure you know about that. but. Again, it works. So I'm being lazy here, and I keep it this way. I'm probably not the only one in this room. And actually, for those of us, we are not alone either. Around a third of Americans are using devices every day with a cracked screen. And when we dig into that topic, we've conducted some research with our customers, and we found out that actually no one is happy about that. You'd rather have a phone that looks, real, that looks great, right? So um, we saw hard about how to make that better, how to help people actually take care of their tech. Because as Thibault said, this is our mission. We are here to extend the life of electronic devices. And so we came up with a new feature that is live today in the US and in the UK, that's going to be live in France in a few months, that is called Your Devices. So your devices is a new feature on our app where you get to track and take care of your tech, starting with your phone, in order to keep them in a good shape for longer. I'm going to walk you through how that works. So first of all, you open the Back Market app. And the app will automatically detect your device, your model. And it will provide some tips that were provided by our innovation lab in order for you to take simple actions, simple new habits, in order to keep your device in a good shape for longer. The tips can be around, for instance, how to improve the performance of my battery. We're just starting this new, this new feature, but we'll keep improving it. And very soon, you'll get access to some options, such as having your battery replaced by professionals that will be vetted by back markets. On your devices, you also get to track how much CO2 emission you helped avoid thanks to buying refurbished. We also want to encourage you to, be, like, to take care of your tech. So we'll create some badges, some rewards, as you actually spend time taking care of your devices. And why keep the fun just for yourself? Very soon, on your devices, you'll be able to add all your devices on top of your phone. So for instance, uh, the, all the devices you have at home, or the phones of your parents, or the PlayStation of your kids, all in one place for you to track them and take care of them. So your devices is really our answer in order for everyone to take care of their tech in an easy way. And I should mention as well, it goes beyond the, the, the products you buy on back market. Your devices works wherever you bought your tech, because again, our mission is for you to extend the life of your devices and take care of them. OK, this is the last demo of today. Humans are complex individuals made of multiple layers of experiences, thoughts, emotions, feelings. So with our mission of helping them adopt a more sustainable lifestyle, we asked ourselves, how can we make that happen easily? 
And the answer is money. <laughs> Thibaut mentioned it. We have our trading program. And with this trading program, it's very easy for anyone to just sell their old tech, get paid, and enjoy life. And today, we're adding a new feature in our trading program. I wonder if anyone here in this room knows how much their phone in their pocket is worth. If you want to know about it, we're creating a new feature called Shake to Trading. It's very easy. You open the Back Market app, you shake your phone, and you'll find out. And why does it matter? It matters because we have around 100 million devices forgotten in drawers. And people just don't know what to do with them. And the, the thing I can say is that we don't want those devices to end up in landfills. And so this is why we've created Shake to Trade In. Okay, I have to tell you, maybe I shook my phone a bit too hard because now it's really not working at all. And I'm starting to feel a bit nervous about that. <laughs> maybe you're like me, but there's no way I can spend even a day without my phone. Delivery for Amandine Dur. Ah, perfect timing, thank you. <laughs> perfect timing to announce a new service we're going to launch next year that is called Express Replacement. Of course, here we're just acting. But here's how it works. If, as a customer at Back Market, your device is broken or being weird, you'll get an immediate replacement delivered for you for free of the same model, merci beaucoup, that you'll be able to keep, set up, install, put all your data in it before you have to go take back your old device. Thank you. I feel relieved so that there is no single day without a phone. This is the absolute promise of peace of mind shopping at back markets, and it's going to be live in 2025. <laughs> so what I've shown you today is what happens when you keep your customer and your mission at the center of your company. I mentioned the Innovation Lab a few times already, so I'm sure you're eager to know more. So I'm calling on stage Kevin Charon to tell you about it. Actually, I bring my own lab with me all the time. <laughs> Hello, so I'm Kevin. So I'm leading the Innovation Lab. So you may say, what is the Innovation Lab? It's actually two labs for now, one in New York and one in Bordeaux. We are what we like to say the eyes and ears of back markets, and it's based on mostly three pillars. The first one is about seeing what's happening. We are performing more than 2,000 mystery orders a year in order to feel what our customers are experiencing while buying on back market, from the order placement to the testing of the device, and until its eventual uh, return. This is the best way to bring trust to our customers, by knowing what they are experiencing. The second part is about quality improvement. And it's about also watching what's happening at our sellers. We are visiting them, performing audits. We build strong action plans with them when we see some failures. And we, it's also a good way to monitor that, their success. Oops, sorry. The third part is also about seeing. We are in constant watch of what's happening in the new industry. We are testing new, new devices and also new techniques in order to share it with our sellers and train them along the way. The goal is really to give trust to our customers by elevating the whole industry towards excellence. 
and also give no more factual reasons to buy new. But during those 10 years, we saw multiple issues. The biggest one I wanted to show you today is actually part pairing. But what is part pairing? It's some mechanics put in place by manufacturers in a, way, in a way to limit and block third party repairs. It can display warning messages and also uh, dis disabling some functionalities. This mostly happens when you're using third party parts or even when using genuine parts but installed outside the repair center. So I will do a quick demo here. So here we have two phones that are actually taken apart. And let's say I repaired Amandine's, Amandine's screens uh, from the previous phone. So I took genuine parts and installed it on this device. And the first thing we are saying is so many notifications that we don't know for now, with <coughs> errors displayed on batteries, display, camera, and even face ID. If we look at the display, we will see this scary message sh showing unknown part. The display up for this phone is not recognized. And we're also missing some functions. For those using this type of phone, you know that you don't have all the settings here. There's two issues here. Actually, it it's can be quite scary for anyone receiving a device like this, because you don't know that the device maybe not function, but in fact, it's working perfectly. I have all the touch capabilities and the brightness and all. But also, it's very hard for our sellers to repair, because they want those devices to work perfectly. But while preparing this keynote, we found some news. And actually, since two days now, or it was on Monday, we discovered that the new iOS update is actually allowing people and our refurbishers now to use genuine parts and validate their, re their repair. Here we can see that the, ba the screen was actually, and here the, it's the battery, but we have also the display, was replaced last week. So we get back all the functionalities and everything is working perfect. This is the good way to do it, but it's actually not enough. And this is why we are working again with our sellers in order to open this feature to third-party third apps in order to be fully transparent. Imagine tomorrow having the same message saying, OK, your screen was, was replaced with good quality parts. And this is why we also work with our sellers to source the best quality parts in order to be prepared for next year, as uh, Thibault was mentioning before. So this was the lab. We are uh, doing a this type of uh, repairs, but also we want to bring quality through trust. Sorry. Uh, so now le let's. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Joy Howard. I'm the newest member of the back market team. And um, sometimes when introducing myself, I like to joke that I build the brands that other brands want to be. I was the first head of marketing at Patagonia. I also led marketing for Converse All Star. Um, some people call them Chuck Taylors, a very iconic youth culture brand. And after that, I went into technology as the chief marketing officer for Sonos and then for Lyft. Since moving to Paris in 2021, I started my own company under the auspices of La French Tech. Some of you may have heard of La French Tech. And after selling it earlier this year, I contemplated what might be next for me, and I discovered back market. I was immediately captivated by the power of its mission, by the talent of its team, and by the tremendous opportunity ahead of us. For the past 10 years, Back Market has succeeded in getting consumers, getting people, getting citizens excited about refurbished tech. But now it's time to take it to the next level. 
It's time because brands don't shape culture. Culture shapes brands. And the most successful brands understand when those cultural winds shift. Today, we're all tired of hearing about disruption. The only disruption worth pursuing now is for the planet, and that's exactly what back market is about. True disruption isn't about being the newest or the fastest. It's not about speeds and feeds. It's about making quality accessible to everyone. Consumers today want to spend less on what they need so they can spend more on what they want. They're open to choosing frugality, not as a path to deprivation, but as a path to liberation. And so with that in mind, I'm very excited to share our new global marketing campaign. Every year, they introduce us to yet another phone. But not just any phone. It's the best. It's the most innovative. It's the most important smartphone created in the history of the world. Just last week, we saw numerous, Apple, we saw numerous Apple executives proclaim that the iPhone 16 was the beginning of an exciting new era and that uh, the new device raises the bar for what an iPhone can do. But let's be honest, everyone knows we hit peak innovation years ago. So, the real question is, do you actually need the newest new thing? And that's where the opportunity for back market comes in. We're here to show consumers that there's a better way, a way that puts choice back in their hands, that fits their actual needs and brings back the magic of better days. Year after year, big tech companies are pleading with you to get their latest smartphone, tablet, watch, or laptop. And we get it. It's tempting. But how much of that new tech do we actually use? Much of it goes untouched. And that's why today we're excited to do something different. We're launching a new campaign that asks you to consider something. What if for everything that you do with your tech, downgrading to the previous models is just as good as new? When you factor in the price, the environmental impact, and the quality of refurbished, it might be even better. So starting today, we're gonna urge consumers around the world to do something different. Not upgrade again, but downgrade now or, as we like to say around the globe, flambant vieux, disactualitate, gundier ein downgrade, mojitotso sintakashi. Throughout this campaign, we're going to show consumers something we think makes a lot of sense. Those older smartphone models, they're just as good as the new, they're just as good as the newest version for doing what you actually do every day. Think about it. Taking photos, texting your friends, listening to your favorite music, for you journalists here, recording an interview, or even scrolling through your social media feed. All your daily smartphone habits work just as well, if not better, on older models. And here's the kicker at just a fraction of the price and a fraction of the environmental impact. Because when it comes down to it, why pay more for features you don't need? Why let big tech decide how much you spend? This is the message that we're bringing with Downgrade Now. It's time to think what you really need and what your tech is truly worth. Now, Leo, let's talk about the things we all love. Have you ever noticed how with every new product launch, big tech always seems, seems to take away something that you like? And they usually call it innovation. Let's be honest, we all figured out a long time ago that innovation is often just another name for engineered obsolescence. It's often just another name for dictating your needs rather than serving your needs. So, with our Downgrade Now campaign, we're going to shine a light on those things that we miss, all those little things that we miss. Headphone jacks, connection ports, 
home buttons, and all those little features that have disappeared from the latest models. We're here to celebrate those features and remind everyone why they were so great to begin with. After all, progress shouldn't mean giving up the things that we love. Smaller phones. Phones with plenty of life left in them. Phones that are flambant vieux. <laughs> and now, let's talk about another way we're celebrating the power of slightly older tech in our lives. It's not just about functionality. It's about the emotional connections we formed over the years. The click of those buttons we used to press, the snap of those flip phones we left to shut, and all the little moments that have stayed with us. To bring this idea to life, we needed a creative partner who could take this tech and transform it into something with spirit and with style. And that's why I'm delighted to announce that we've partnered with the incredibly talented Gabois. Gabois's work captures the surreal and beautiful qualities in everyday objects. I was captivated by how she turns the mundane into art with humor and irony that uniquely highlights the absurdity of technology. Today, we're very fortunate to have her here in Paris to give you an exclusive sneak preview of what she'll be creating for us this fall. So please, join me in welcoming Gabois. Thank you for that beautiful intro, Joy. Um, I am very, very happy to be here today to uh, not only learn about, but celebrate all of these wonderful initiatives that are going to roll out throughout the year with Back Market. So thank you again for having me. Um, I am also beyond honored to be a part of one of those uh, really unique marketing initiatives. Um, and yeah, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Gabois. I am a multidisciplinary artist based in Montreal, Canada. I also run a design studio where we, our work spans from everything from creative direction to art installations to production design and beyond. Over the last eight years, we've had the chance to partner with a lot of different brands, including Balenciaga, Nike, Squarespace, and La Samaritaine here in Paris. Um, technology here, as you can see in some of my previous works, has always been a key theme and element of inspiration in my work. Um, I've always been really fascinated by the dichotomies that are present in tech design. So whether that's aesthetics versus function, or how we can be simultaneously drawn to, <coughs> to um, futuristic and nostalgic elements within one uh, visual identity. So that's really that tension that has always um, you know, cultivated that passion for tech in me. Um, this year, I am absolutely thrilled to be partnering with Back Market on a limited edition capsule collection of collectibles for both the wardrobe and the home. Um, and all of those designs are crafted from discarded tech pieces. Um, this partnership also feels incredibly aligned with my personal values when it comes to sustainability and making the most of things we already have. And Back Market's commitment to uh, reducing e-waste and really focusing on the reuse of tech is something that's incredibly important. Um, and I feel very honored to be able to collaborate in educating more people on those practices. So at the end of the day, it really does feel more than just a brand partnership. It feels like um, collaboration towards a more sustainable future overall. And it feels even more personal to me because before having access to uh, professional equipment and materials, I started out working with a discarded point-and-shoot camera that my parents would bring on vacation. So that really helped me seeing firsthand how something that's useless to someone can become very much necessary to someone else. 
Um, so we're planning to release this castle collection in December, and it's going to feature six unique designs, three of which we're previewing today as prototypes. So first one, uh, we have our flip phone belt buckle that Bridie will demonstrate uh, right now. And I encourage you to come and see the designs up close. They will be on display uh, on the second floor. Uh, so this is our adjustable flip phone belt. We also have, uh, I'm wearing the tech nails today, uh, made from all little uh, discarded phone parts and buttons. And we also have here our wired headphones balaclava. So again, I think they're very fun to see up close so you can see really the functionality and the details that we've put into them. Um, but this is just the start. There's so many exciting uh, surprises that are going to roll out through this collaboration. And uh, without wanting to give away too much, I'll just wrap things up by saying that um, the goal here is really to create a moment where um, tech recycling, upcycling, and refurbishing meets aesthetic elevation and to create products that not only look great, but also bring true educational value into people's lives. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for being here. And I can't wait to, for all of you to be able to experience what we've been working on. Thank you so much, Gamboire. I'm so excited about this collaboration. Um, as we wrap up our discussion of the Downgrade Now campaign, I'm excited to share that we will be rolling it out this week in France, in the US, in the UK, in Germany, and in Spain. We truly believe that people are ready for a meaningful shift, whether it's through consuming less or making smarter purchasing decisions. And I hope you'll agree as well. So now, since I'm up here at a keynote, I couldn't resist having one having, well, let's say my own little one more thing. Except, of course, because we're back market, it's one less thing. As we've seen in Downgrade Now, the dirty little secret that big tech doesn't want you to know is that for nearly everything that you do with your phone, you don't need the newest and you don't need the most expensive. All you really need is a phone. And that's why I'm very excited to unveil Backmarket's latest innovation, which isn't really an innovation at all. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing phone. This is phone. Phone is a phone that does all your phone things. Phone calls, phone texts, phone Doom scrolls on the toilet. Phone streams. Phone likes. Phone unlikes. If you can do it on a phone, you can do it with phone. But what is phone? This phone is phone. And this phone, it's phone too. All these phones, they're phone. Professionally refurbished, high quality phones. Randomly selected. Put in a nice phone box and ready to do all your phone stuff with way less phone waste for one low phone price. Just pick Android or iOS and you've got phone. Because for all the things you really do, you don't need new. You just need phone. If you need one, you can leave with a phone today, a verified refurbished device that you can text your friends, ghost your boss, take way too many pictures of your pets, and do all of your phone things, all while saving hundreds of dollars or euros and a whole bunch of damage to Mother Earth. Phone will be on sale starting today in the United States for $249 and in France for 299 euros. I hope you get yours today. Now, back to you, Thibaut. Thank you so much to everyone who participated in that keynote and obviously to all of you that came in today with us and are still hopefully listening uh, because it's the very end of the keynote, not one less thing, not one more thing. 
Uh, I really hope like everything we shared with you today resonates as much as possible and uh, you will be part of this revolution that we're trying to bring onward. So thank you very much and see you soon in 10 years. <laughs>